news on um, replacing a big pancake uh, OBS uh, uh, AC compressor with a SD7 that comes in like the Holly front mounts. A lot of them out there selling them for uh, mid mounts and all kinds of, uh, you know, just a smaller compressor takes up less room. But to uh, plug the thing in, um, I just used, I bought a new set. Uh, of course, my, my system's been converted over to uh, 138 a long time ago, but um, put a new set of hoses on, crimped these ends, got these ends, crimped them on. Probably some came from uh, Amazon, some from Summit. And then this is the important one right here. This lets you put a high pressure cutoff in, in line. So the high pressure cutoff will cut off at 300 and turn back on at 200, which gives you plenty of room not to be, uh, uh, for the air conditioner to work. Um, R134 uh, likes to see about uh, 180 on the high pressure. So uh, cutting off it or coming back on at 200 will, will do good and you won't blow nothing up. Now if you overpressurize these, uh, and that's what this switch does. And the way I wired it, you can see it right there. The way I wired it is I just dropped it in between the uh, 12 volt on and uh, ran in each side of it. And I also just ran my fan into it too so that it comes on at the same time. So once you hit the AC, the uh, it lets current through, goes to the fan, and then um, goes to the compressor. And if it hits 300, the compressor will clutch will shut off and uh, won't come back on until it idles back down to 200 psi but the fan will stay running to keep uh, to keep supplying um, cool air to the uh, condenser so that's the way you do that and then um, over here uh, this is pretty much the same as a, uh, as a 134 but if you've changed, done the changeover from R12 to 134, you know that you have to replace all this stuff. About the only thing you can really get away with uh, flushing is the evaporator. The way it's built, it, it, you, could, you could flush it, you'd be okay. But anything, accumulator, lines, uh, evaporator, um, uh, attenuator, any of that stuff, uh, you need to switch over to one, you need to replace it because the R12 will contaminate the 134. One of the biggest differences between R12 and uh, 134 is the oil that's used in the refrigerant. Um, R12 was pretty much low pressure, like uh, oh, 20 to 40 pounds, uh, R12 would do its job. Not the greatest job, but it did its job. Uh, 134 needs. Uh, between 40 and 180, somewhere in there, 40, 50 on the low pressure side, uh, 160, 180, 200 will work on the high pressure side. That's my experience. I'm no big air conditioner tech. The only thing that I ever did about with air conditioning is when R12 was taken away by the government, um, there was classes at the auto parts store on how to switch over R12 units to R134 units. And that's where I kind of found out what, what needed to be done. And so the uh, oils are two different oils. So you, R12 uses a mineral oil, and R134 uses a glycoid oil, an antifreeze base oil. I think it's antifreeze base, but something like that. It, two different oils. It's different refrigerant, and, and it handles two different oils. So if you contaminate the oil with the, uh, contaminate the 134 uh, glycoid oil, a glycine, or however they say it, oil with the mineral oil, it won't um, it won't travel with the refrigerant. It will it will drag in one spot. Try to try to it'll layer up on the inside of the hose. It'll layer up in the condenser. It'll, it'll, it'll just layer up because it won't really mix with the uh, 134. So it won't because the 134 refrigerant carries the oil around the whole system carries it to the compressor, carries it everywhere, keeps the system from um, corroding, number one, and number two, uh, keeps the compressor oiled up. So that's, uh, and I figure, uh, well, that's that. And, and on these OBSs, the instructions say, um, or the, the fluid, the 
the refrigerant capacity is 1.3 on a lot of them. I see 1.4, so uh, a pound, pound four, pound three, somewhere in there. It's not much. It's like two cans. It's only a pound. So it's like two six inch, two and a half six ounce cans. If you got 12 ounces, two cans, somewhere in there. That's all you need to put in. If you overfill them. They'll build up too much pressure. This little peanut pump thing here, this SD7, that thing will make 500 PSI of pressure. It'll blow the orifice tube clear into the uh, uh, condenser. You'll never find that orifice tube. It'll shove it down in there so far, you'll, just, you'll have to replace the condenser. And don't ask me how I know. Uh, thanks for watching.